Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in another round. This time we are playing a Silence the Guns missions, um, which should be quite nice. Wait a second. Okay. Ah, alright. Um, but I can't select them. Okay, anyhow. Um, and silence the guns against Plague Vanguard, a very, very good following. A Vermilion class classified episode in factional um, power play. The Inquisition is forced to support elite troops of the Astra Militarium against an insulated band of Chaos Raiders. The covert operation aims to cripple the heavy weapons cap uh, capability of the Invaders. Orders terminate all field batteries before Imperial assets suffer ir ir <laughs> sorry, irreparable. irreparable complete. Transferring target coordinates of hostile artillery units to your tactical sensorium. Silence these guns before the Imperium's finest get pounded into oblivion. Good hunting. Will do, will do. Not that much of a problem, I assume. I didn't even realize that we actually are facing two champions here, the Plague Ridden and the Marauder. Um, well, that explains why our little constructs have been utterly um, being dis dismembered so quickly um, through the AOE capability of those guys. Anyhow, not going to complain there of an... Ah, this is... Yes, a, I think I... Did I take the possession um, mode where actually um, with every kill we make um, a demon can respawn from the kill body because these guys are possessed. Yes, I think that is the game mode I did. Not bad. Um, I actually do enjoy that quite immensely, I have to say. Because that is quite some fun. Although, one part I do not enjoy if they... I don't know whether New Core Games, the dev, um, developers, fixed that, but I remember a time where even demons were spawned from um, trap turrets. That was very, very not so cool, I think. This guy is down. To the right we go at first. Oh yeah, it, we need to go... No, we can go to the left. So that would save us time indeed. So luckily we have not been hit by the <laughs> big stunning hits onto the ground. That is very, very good for us. Okay, um, if I take a quick look on the map, that is our first target at hand. Okay, very, very good. Not going to be a problem. Of course, um, technically, um, this mission type is then a little bit more difficult with the constant respawning or constant um, randomly spawn of enemies. That is the nasty part here. I need to take down the Havoc. <laughs> Back in the day, I had so many bad experience with these guys especially once you are uh, I, I, I I was talking about that a hundred of times especially once you are down in suppression resistance and back in the day when the game was just started in the I think it was the um, they talk, called it um, alpha version but in the end it was basically an early access stuff um, these guys were a little bit unbalanced and um, the missions overall so you did per se not always get a mission where the hostile unit down rinse and repeat in the name of the emperor of course if you um in, in, in the old days there was something called the power rating which was basically the level of your character um which then like today um now it's being with the inquisitorial level it's um differently called but um, it was the same mechanic there, but you had a power rating, for example, of 1200 or 1300, 1500, 2500, and all that good jazz. Um, anyhow, and even though the mission was back in the early days, um, like your um, power rating, so the exact thing, it should be a normal difficulty. Sometimes it was really, really 
the enemy abilities were not balanced out. That is the essence what I wanted to say, which made the missions extremely difficult at times and the Havocs for example, Nurgle was one of the, um, or the Death Guard was the, one of the first enemies in this game actually, um, it made the game really really hard because they have a knockdown ability and once you are down in suppression resistance and then a knockback come from their grenades, you are knocked to the ground, you can't do anything and once you got up back in the day then the um, the um, he knocked you back again. That was very, very nasty of all. But why am I even talking about that so lengthily? That makes no sense at all. So a depraved champion um, will be down quickly. I'm of course always a tiny little bit afraid of the champions. There is one sort of um, champion, chaos champion, which is using psychic attacks as well which is really really nasty because he at one point is troubling himself so there are two more of the heavy hitting guy and heavily armored plus many many hp so that always is then a very nasty situation but that was easier than i thought only one quake with remains down he is and then we use the mortar or we disable the mortar to be very very precise here Hostile unit down. Rinse and repeat. In the name of the Emperor, of course. Oh well, of course. What else? What else? So this Marauder will quickly be killed as well. And I'm trying to already face on future targets. Um, come on, come on. Just get in there. We have lost a couple of constructs there because not all of them were attacking the correct target. Very, very nasty. That's still one thing I would be wishing to have some sort of control over our minions. We can't really say. Although I think they attack what you attack at first. Um, for example, if you. Well, basically, they don't attack anything, and once you attack, for example, a door in order to break it open, they attack it as well. But to have the ability to say, you three go on this target, you three go on that target, or all of you go on this target. That is what I'm missing, and that would make the game, in my humble mind, oh so better. But anyhow, that is just me thinking out loud. Well, and yes, I know there has been some sort of commanding um, abilities in defensive missions. There were a couple of mission, um, especially in the campaign, and yes, I meant missions, plural, where you needed to defend a spot. There you could say to your Imperial Guardsmen, stay there or stay there, but it was not like ordering them and saying, come on, you stay with me, you three go there. Anyhow. Deactivating the last mortar and then we should be through with that mission. Ain't that wonderful? Mm. No more primary targets on my Argus scans. Well done. Stand by for extraction. Unless you want to linger just a little longer. No, ma'am, we don't want to do that. Jumping out and then taking a very, very quick look at the items we have received here. Maybe, just maybe a little bit um, of an upgrade available, but I normally don't assume that. Okay, uh, what did we get here? A tarot card, the normal thing, and then a quick look inside our inventory right here. Taking that one, okay, no. No, no. Okay, so that looks very, very bad. But ga oh my goodness. Um, mm, um, I think that one, that one should be very, very good, and we should um, suckle that one. But guys, that right now leads us to the end of this episode and you know it i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye